Come on, get in your proper door. <laughs> Go out, eh? <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome along to, well, it's the cab of the new and updated John Deere 6R series. So specifically, we are in the 6R with the Y85, is that right, Jack? Yeah? That's certainly true, yeah. So, we have come to Langham in Nottinghamshire, which is the home of John Deere in the UK. So we've come for basically a bit of a first look, really, a bit of a first impression of the new 6R series. Hopefully at a later date, we'll get it out in the field and we'll try it out properly. Like I say, this is just a little first look, so as such, we are just going to have a quick blast down the road. And while we're doing that, uh, I've got uh, Mr. Jack Drury from John Deere, who's uh, going to tell us all about it. So, Jack, the uh, the new 6R range then, I believe it's uh, it's grown a bit, it's expanded a bit, it's gained a couple of models a bit. So if you could just sort of start by giving us an overview of the range now, what's in it? Yeah, so certainly. So um, now we've grown growing the range by four additional models. So now we offer 14 models in the in the new 6R product range lineup. Right. So anywhere from a 6R110 all the way through to uh, a 6R250. Right. So, so those those model numbers they'll relate to uh, the rated horsepower as they've always done. Yeah, correct. So right. slight changes there. So rather than being like a 6R155 um, or a 6155R, sorry, it's now a 6R 185. Right, so that kind of carries on from the it's, 7s, the 8s and the 9s. Yeah, yeah, it's very much aligned with the um, the Waterloo product line now as well. Right. So. Got you. And these new models, these four new models, where do they fit in the in the family? So, basically, if you look at the small frame for a start, so your 4.5 meter engines, 2.5 meter wheelbase, we've put two additional models on the top of that. So, we've got a slight more increase on the 6R140. And then we've got, um, which is 166 horsepower max with IPM. Now we've got a 6R150, right. which is 177 horsepower with IPM. Yeah. So it's really just pushed the boundaries a little bit more. So we're allowed to have that compact tractor with a four cylinder engine, you now at 2.5 meter wheelbase, but gives that ultimate horsepower. So right. power to weight ratio, you know, it's really where it needs to be now for our, for our customers. So, so you've got a proper pocket rocket now, a proper yeah. four-cylinder powerhouse. Certainly have, yeah, certainly have. So, so all those guys that used to run 6.430s... You've got your replacement. This is one for them that certainly. they've always been wanting. You've got your replacement and some, you know. It's, and some, yeah. Yeah, certainly. And how come, sort of, you know, the John Deere sort of philosophy and way of doing things, how come you sort of kept it fairly restrained for this long with the four cylinders, because like you look at Agco with you know the likes of the Valtra N series and the Master Ferguson 67, was 67 now, 6S. How come you've sort of, you know, those guys have been pushing 200 horse with four cylinders. How come you've sort of kind of held yourselves back a little bit all these years? You know, <laughs> you, you know, John Deere, with us, we have the slogan, reliability is our strength. Yeah. You know, and we, we want to make sure we keep to that, you know? and. We will obviously unlock that extra horsepower for our customers, but we want to make sure that it's not just about horsepower, it's having that reliability. Yeah. So that's why we've actually increased the capacity of our drivetrains as well. So yeah, we've always wanted to do it, but when we do something, we're going to put it to the market and make sure it's right. And that's yeah. exactly what we've done here right. with the 140 and the 150. Yeah. Increase horsepower, but increase that reliability as well. Yeah. So let, let's talk about the one that we're driving now, because this is just going to... I'm assuming this is just going to fly off the shelf. Is this because this is this is the 185? Yep. New model in the in the mid chassis size, uh, along with the 165 as well. Just for good measure. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. So, yeah. What more do you want? You got light, strong, and smart machine. You know, technology is in base. 185 rated horsepower. If we talk max power IPM, we're talking 234 horsepower in the mid chassis size. In a 2.7 
meters of wheelbase. So yeah, fantastic power to weight ratio and coupled with things like hydraulic IPM as well, to give it an additional 40 horsepower, it just really unlocks that, that full potential. Right, so you're not just getting boost with PTO and transport? Transport, above 15k, yeah. Also, from any speed, so from zero to 50k, let's yeah. say, we actually have the ability, if we need it and if it's required, to provide off the back of hydraulic pump pressure, a swash plate position, an additional 40, 40 horsepower. Right. You know, so for like combination wrappers, Baylor wrappers, we have that flexibility as well. Yeah. So it's about having that tractor that's that can perform it.